Oxford Grammar for Schools, Level 1, by Martin Moore. Published and copyright, Oxford University Press, 2013. CD 3. Unit 16. 16.1. Listen and check. There are some chairs. 1. There's a table. 2. There isn't a bag. 3. There aren't any children. 4. There's a lamp. 5. There are two windows. 6. There aren't any shoes. 7. There's a cupboard. 8. There isn't a computer. 16.2 Listen and complete the chart with ticks or crosses. I like my room. It's small, but there are a lot of things in it. There's a bed, of course. And there's a wardrobe with my clothes in. There aren't any chairs, and there isn't a desk. But there's a small table next to my bed. On the table, there's a clock to wake me up in the morning. And there's another clock on the wall. So there are two clocks in my room. On the wall, there's also a mirror and some pictures of footballers. I love football. What else is there in my room? There's a cupboard and in it there are books and toys. But there isn't a computer or a television. My parents say no to that. 16.3 Listen and check. In my room there's a bed and there's a wardrobe for my clothes. There aren't any chairs and there isn't a desk, but there's a small table. There are two clocks on the table and on the wall. On the wall there's a mirror and there are some pictures. There are some other things in my room. There's a cupboard and there are some books and toys in it. But there isn't a computer and there isn't a television. 16.4 Listen and tick the correct picture. Hello. I'd like to rent a house. Have you got any houses for a family? I've got a nice house in Silver Road. Is it big? Well, there are three bedrooms upstairs. OK, that's good. And is there a big kitchen? Yes, there's a big kitchen with a table in it. Is there a dining room? No, there isn't. The family eats in the kitchen. But there's a nice living room with two sofas. Are there two bathrooms? No, there aren't. But the bathroom is modern. That's probably OK. Oh, yes. And is there a garden? Yes, there is. There aren't any trees in it, but there are nice flowers. Good. I'd like to see it. Of course. Is tomorrow OK? 16.5 Listen and check. Is your house nice? It's OK. There are three bedrooms. My room, my parents' room and my sister's room. Are there two bathrooms? No, there aren't. We've got one bathroom, but it's big and new. And downstairs? There are three rooms downstairs. There's a living room. There's a small dining room 
And there's a kitchen. Is there a garden? Yes, there is, but it's small. There are some flowers, but there aren't any trees. Unit seventeen, seventeen point one. Listen and check. Hi, Mum. I'm thirsty. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. I'd like some lemonade. I haven't got any lemonade. Would you like some orange juice? Yes, please. That would be great. Okay. Here you are. And would you like a sandwich? Yes, I would. Would you like cheese or chicken? I'd like cheese, please. Here you are. Thank you. Seventeen point two. Listen to the conversations. What food or drink does each person have? Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I'd like orange juice. I'm sorry, we haven't got orange juice. Would you like apple juice? Yes, please. Okay, here you are. One. I'm hungry. I'd like something to eat. Would you like a sandwich? Yes, please. I've got chicken or tuna. I'd like chicken, please. Two. What would you like? Hmm. I'd like a burger. We haven't got burgers. Oh well. I'd like a cheese sandwich then. Okay. Three. I'm thirsty. Would you like a drink? I'd like water, please. That's fine. Here you are. Four. I'm cooking eggs for breakfast. Would you like eggs too? No, I wouldn't, thanks. But I'd like toast. No problem. Five. Would you like something to eat? No, thanks. But I'd like a drink, please. What would you like? I'd like lemonade, please. Here you are. Thanks. Seventeen point three. Listen to the conversations and complete the sentences with the words in the box. One. Hi, Emma. Are you doing anything at the moment? No, I'm not. Would you like to play tennis with me? Yes, I would. That's a great idea. Two. Would you like to go to the cinema and watch a film? Not really, thanks, Tom. I haven't got any money. I'd like to listen to my new album. I'd like to listen to that too. Would you like to come to my house and listen to it here? Cool. See you later, Pat. Three. Would you like to go to Amy's party? I'm not sure, Billy. I'm quite tired. They've got karaoke, and you like karaoke, don't you? Yes, I'd really like to do karaoke. What time does it start? Eight o'clock. Four. Where are you? I'm in the shopping centre. Me too. Would you like to meet? Good idea. Where? Would you like to have coffee? Yes, I would. Okay. Let's have coffee at the cafe. See you in five minutes. Five. What are you doing at the moment? I'm just listening to some music. Would you like to go out and do something together? Yeah, I'd like to go to the beach. It's a nice day. Okay, let's do that. Seventeen point four. Listen and check. Hi, Sarah. Would you like to play tennis? No, thanks. 
I'm tired. I'd like to go to the cinema. Would you like to come? Sorry, I haven't got any money. Would you like to come to my house and listen to music? Yes, I'd like to do that. Great. Come round at three o'clock. 17.5 Complete the sentences. Then listen and check. I'd like to do that. Yes, I would. Would you like to travel on buses and planes and see everything in the world? Yes, I'd like to do that. Yes, I would. My friends all the time and laugh and be happy with them. Yes, I'd like to do that. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I'd like to do that. Yes, I would. Unit 18. 18.1. Listen and check. Mike likes drinking tea. 1. You like going to the cinema. 2. We don't like eating vegetables. 3. Do they like playing tennis? 4. Jack doesn't like cleaning the house. 5. Do you like listening to music? 6. My parents like going for walks. 7. Does your teacher like singing? 8. Do the children like doing homework? 9. I don't like painting pictures. 10. Those men like talking on their phones. 18.2 Listen and match the activities with the people. Do they like doing the activities? 1. What are you eating, Mum? It's a new recipe. Do you want to try it, Jack? No, thanks. I don't like trying new food. 2. Hi, Ben. What are you doing at the moment? I'm cleaning my room. That's boring. Not for me. I like cleaning my room. It's good to have a clean room. 3. What are you listening to, Sam? I'm listening to music. Do you normally listen to music? No, but I do sometimes. 4. Hi, Kim. There's a karaoke party tonight. Do you want to come? No, thanks. I don't like singing. Five. 
Do you like swimming, Tom? Yes, I do. OK, let's go to the beach and swim in the sea. I don't like swimming in the sea. It's really cold. Revision 5 R 11.1 Listen and tick the boxes. He likes playing tennis. 1. She doesn't like doing maths. 2. They like eating chips. 3. There's a computer. 4. There aren't any apples. 5. There are some cats. R 11.2 Listen and tick the things that the people order successfully. I'd like a burger. OK. And would you like chips? No, thanks. But I'd like some lemonade. Sorry, there isn't any lemonade. Would you like some juice? Yes, please. 1. Would you like ice cream? No, thanks. Is there some chocolate cake? Yes, there is. I'd like that, please. Would you like coffee or tea? I'd like coffee, please. 2. Would you like a sandwich? Yes, please. Would you like a cheese sandwich or a chicken sandwich? Cheese, please. OK. And a drink? I'd like some juice, please. Sorry, there isn't any juice. I'd like water, then. OK. 3. Would you like some fish? No, thanks. Have you got any chicken? Yes, we have. I'd like some chicken, please. And would you like some potatoes with it? No, thanks. I'd like rice. Unit 19. 19.1. Listen and check. Can they play tennis? 1. Can she dance? 2. Can you sing? 3. Can your parents swim? 4. Can Ronnie play the piano? 5. Can you do this homework? 6. Can he draw a horse? 7. Can your dad make a cake? 8. Can Emily's brother ride a bike? 9. Can you speak English? 19.2 Listen and tick the sentences you hear. Then practice saying the sentences. I can't throw the javelin. 1. We can do gymnastics. 2. She can run fast. 3. He can't dive. 4. You can jump high. 5. She can swim well. 19.3 Listen and match each person with the correct sport. Hi, Emma. What are you doing? I'm choosing people for sports day. Can you help me, Henry? OK. Can you run the 100 metres? No, I can't run fast. But I can swim. OK, you can swim. That's good. What about you, Emma? I can dive. Hmm. 
who are the other people? Well, there's Carrie. Can she do gymnastics? No, Carrie can't do gymnastics, but she can run very fast. Good. Carrie can run the hundred meters. Now, Oscar. Oscar can throw the javelin. Excellent. Then there's Mike. Hmm. Mike can't do gymnastics, but he's tall, so Mike can do the high jump. Good idea. Mike can do the high jump. Who can do gymnastics? Jess. She can do gymnastics. Perfect. That's everything. Nineteen point four. Listen and choose the correct options. Have you got any questions about your new school, Sam? Yes, I have, Dad. Can I wear jeans to school? No, you can't wear jeans. Everyone wears black trousers. Okay. And can I use my phone at school? No, you can't use your phone at school.、Mm. At lunchtime, can I go to the shops and get a sandwich? Well, you can't go to the shops, but you can have a sandwich. There's a restaurant at school, and there are sandwiches for lunch. Can I play in a band at school? Yes, you can. There's a band that plays on Mondays after school. And my last question is, can I ride my bike to school? Yes, of course you can. Okay, it sounds like a nice school. Nineteen point five. Listen to the conversation and complete the sentences. Dad. I'm bored. Can I play tennis? Tennis? You can't play tennis. It's raining. Can I phone Tom then? Yes, of course. Can we go to the cinema? Okay. And can you drive us to the cinema? No, I can't. You can take the bus or walk. Revision six. R, twelve point one. Listen and tick the correct picture. You can't use your phone. One. You can swim here. Two. You can't take photos. Three. You can ride a bike. Four. You can watch TV. Five. You can't play football. R twelve point two. Listen and answer the questions. Can you swim? Can you speak English? Can you play tennis? Can you sing well? Can you drive a car? Can you play the guitar? Unit twenty, twenty point one. Listen and check. Are you hungry? One. Can you run fast? Two. Have you got a computer? Three. Are you wearing black shoes? Four. Are there spiders in your bedroom? Five. Do you get up early? Six. Has your teacher got red hair? Seven. Is there an apple in your bag? Eight. Do you like playing sport? 
twenty point two. Listen and check. Hi, Susie. Are you doing anything at the moment? No, not really. Would you like to go to the cinema? Yes, I would. Is there a good film on today? Yes, there is. Holiday Adventures. Is it funny? Yes, it's very funny. Great. Let's meet at twelve o'clock. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Have you got an umbrella? Yes, I have. Can you bring it? It's raining. Twenty point three. Look, read, and listen. Then, sing along. Can you sing? And can you dance? Would you like to live in France? Do you want to be a star? Have you got a bass guitar? You tell me everything. Is your brother really nice? Are your parents scared of mice? Would you like to have a snake? Can you make a chocolate cake? Who are you? Can you tell me everything? Can you tell me everything? Are you cool or are you funny? Have you got a lot of money? Is your favorite color green? Would you like to be sixteen? Twenty point four. Listen to the game. Twenty questions. Write yes or no for each question. Who is the famous person? Imagine you are a famous person. Don't tell us your name. Okay. Are you a man? Yes, I am. Do you play sport? No, I don't. Can you sing? No, I can't. Do you play music? No, I don't. Are you an actor? No,、nope, I'm not. Are you a politician? No, I'm not. Are you a writer? Yes, I am. Are you American? No, I'm not. Are you from Europe? Yes, I am. Are you Spanish? No, I'm not. Are you English? Yes, I am. Are you William Shakespeare? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Unit twenty one, twenty one point one. Listen and match the words in the box with the questions in exercise one. Who is this? This is Ed's sister. One. What is that? That's a fox. Two. What are those? Those are apricots. Three. Who is that? That is Emma's friend. Four. Who are they? They're my cousins. Five. What is this? It's a clarinet.
21.2. Listen and check. Who is your favourite teacher? 1. What is your mum's name? 2. Who is your best friend? 3. What do you eat for breakfast? 4. What have you got in your bag? 5. Who do you travel to school with? 21.3. Listen and write the names. Which is Jane's phone? The blue one. Which is Brian's jacket? The brown one. Which is Claire's phone? The pink one. Which is Charlie's jacket? The black one. Which is Gemma's jacket? The green one. Which is James's phone? The red one. 21.4 Listen and check. Where are my shoes? 1. Where is the station? 2. How old are you? 3. Where do you live? 4. Where are you going? 5. How do you spell your name? 6. How old is your brother? 7. Where would you like to go? 8. Where can I buy a pen? 21.5. Listen and check. Welcome to your new school. I've got a few questions. OK. First, what's your surname? Morewood. How do you spell that? M-O-R-W-O-O-D. Thanks. What's your first name? Louise. How old are you, Louise? I'm 12. Where do you live? 26 Elm Road. What's your phone number? 02782-672541. How do you travel to school? I take the bus. What class are you in? I'm in 7E3. Who's your class teacher? Mrs Evans. Thank you, Louise. That's everything. Unit 22. 22.1. Listen to the descriptions and write the activities in the table. I'm Molly. I can dance and sing, but I can't play the piano. I'm Pete. I can ride a bike, but I can't ride a horse or drive a car. I'm Helen. I can't swim, but I can play tennis and I can do gymnastics. I'm Henry. I can't paint or draw, but I can take photos. Revision 7 R 13.1 Look at the picture. Listen and answer the questions with a name or a colour. Who is making dinner? Emily. What colour is Bill's shirt? Red. 1. 
Is the sofa blue or yellow? Blue. Two. Who is on the sofa? Bill. Three. What colour is the computer? Black. Four. Who is reading a book? Bill. Five. Where is the phone? In Edward's jacket. R. 13.2. Listen to the questions and tick the correct answer. Do you live in London? 1. Are you 15? 2. Where do you live? 3. Can you play football? 4. Is the dog playing with the ball? 5. Would you like a drink? Unit 23. 23.1. Listen and check. What a beautiful baby. 1. What an old house. 2. What a nice cake. 3. What a happy girl. 4. What a funny film. 5. What a small dog. 6. What an angry man. 7. What a big television. 23.2 Listen to two descriptions of people in the picture. Who are they? 1. He's tall. He's got long hair. He's wearing a blue shirt. He's got a big bag. 2. He's young. He's got dark hair. He's wearing a white shirt. He's got a black bag. Revision 8. R. 14.1. Listen and look at the pictures. Write the correct numbers. Is Alex tall? Yes, he is. Is Sam angry? No, he isn't. Has Alex got dark hair? No, he hasn't. Has Sam got short hair? Yes, he has. Is Alex wearing a black shirt? No, he isn't. Is Sam wearing blue trousers? Yes, he is. Has Alex got a small bag? Yes, he has. R. 14.2 Listen and answer the questions for you. Have you got a nice house? Are your parents young? Are you tall? Have you got dark hair? Is your sister funny? Have you got a big bag? Unit 24 24.1 Listen and check. There are four people in the park. 1. There is a ball under Rosie's foot. 2. There are two apples on the table. 
Three. Ryan is standing behind the tree. Four. Ted and Jenny are sitting on chairs. Five. Jenny has got a book in her bag. Six. The birds are under the table. Seven. Toby's bike is behind Jane's car. Eight. Ted is listening to music on his phone. Nine. There are four people on the bus. Ten. There is a tree in the park. Twenty-four point two. Listen to the description, then draw the objects in the correct place. There's a lamp on the desk. There's a lamp on the desk. There's a clock on the wall. There's a clock on the wall. There's a cat under the bed. There's a cat under the bed. There's a bag behind the door. There's a bag behind the door. There are shoes on the floor. There are shoes on the floor. There are socks in the shoes. There are socks in the shoes. There's a mouse behind the lamp. There's a mouse behind the lamp. There's a tennis racket under the desk. There's a tennis racket under the desk. There's a shirt in the wardrobe. There's a shirt in the wardrobe. Unit twenty-five, twenty-five point one. Listen and complete Tanya's timetable. On Mondays, we have English, history, and science in the morning, and we have French and maths in the afternoon. On Tuesdays, we have ICT, science. And maths in the morning, and we have English and PE in the afternoon. On Wednesdays, we have science, French, and music in the morning, and we have history and maths in the afternoon. On Thursdays, we have ICT, maths, and English in the morning. And we have PE and history in the afternoon. On Fridays, we have French, maths, and art in the morning, and we have English and science in the afternoon. Twenty-five point two. Listen to Max talking about what he does at the weekend. Write time phrases with at or in. On Saturdays, I normally get up at seven o'clock. In the morning, I go to the sports centre and play basketball. Then I go home and have lunch at one o'clock. In the afternoon, I often meet friends and play computer games. That's fun. In the evening, after dinner, I usually read a book and watch TV. Then I go to bed at about nine o'clock. Revision nine. R, fifteen point one. Listen and draw lines. Put the phone on the chair. 
Where do I put the phone? On the chair. OK. One. Put the guitar behind the sofa. Sorry? Put the guitar behind what? Put it behind the sofa. Right. Two. Put the bag in the cupboard. Where? In the cupboard. OK. The bag goes in the cupboard. Three. Put the shoes under the sofa. The shoes? Yes. Put them under the sofa. Fine. Four. Put the computer on the table. Pardon? The computer. Put it on the table. Five. Put the car on the cupboard. Sorry? The car. Put it on the cupboard. OK. R 15.2 Listen and answer the questions. Use prepositions. When do you have art lessons? When is your birthday? Where do you live? What time does school start? When do you do your homework? Where is your bag at the moment? Revision 10. R 16.1 Listen. Are the sentences true or false? Has William got any sisters? Yes, he's got one sister. 1. What's Mandy doing at the moment? She's having breakfast. 2. Does Tommy like basketball? No, but he likes football. 3. Can Ryan play the piano? No, he can't, but he can play the guitar. 4. What would you like to drink, Oscar? I'd like coffee. Would you like coffee too, Jenny? No, I'd like some tea. 5. Is there any bread? Yes, there is. R 16.2 Listen and choose the correct picture. Are there any apples? No, there aren't. But there's an orange. 1. It's raining. Have you got an umbrella? No, I haven't. But I've got my jacket. 2. Are those your socks? No, those are Tom's. 3. Is Anna doing her homework? No, she isn't. She's listening to music. 4. Is my book on the sofa? No, it's under your bag. 5. Is Andy playing football? Yes, he is. R 16.3 Listen and answer the questions. What's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? Have you got a brother or sister? Do you like milk? Is there a pencil in your bag? 
Can you swim?